I know it's a lot to ask. One med kit coming right up. Do you need another med kit? Three med kits? My treat. You have the chance to change the future and save home base. Whoa, what? The instability has arrived. The plan is in motion. What are you talking about? He's somewhere nearby. You can't live without him. Uh, little robot, remember that comet from last year? Yeah, it was like round, icy, evil, I think. It's back. We destroyed it. It disagrees. What's the status? Any casualties from the impact? The impact hasn't happened yet. This next bit's gonna break your rule, but we also found a guy who says he's a time traveler. Come on! All I ask is that we only have one kind of crazy at a time! Well, this guy's all kinds of crazy, so you and that rule are both gonna have a bad day. I'll patch him through as soon as we calm him down. Until then, why don't you and your team take a look around? Search the zone for the comet. You'll know it when you see it. Um... Yeah? Is that the comet from last year? Feels like it. Shouldn't you maybe run away? Yes. Yeah. Probably. And yet... Turns out I am a big fan of things that have not yet landed. If you're not gonna run for your lives, maybe you could get some readings for us? Sure. Sure. Okay, Commander. I think there are still some sensors around here from before. Hey, Ray, I hope you're ready to hear about how and when you're gonna die. Because your time traveler is ready to give you the details you don't want. Why is he my time traveler? Because he's not mine, that's for sure. You're on with Ray. Do not tell her how she's gonna die. Ray, is that really you? Yeah, it's really me. But I, I saw you die. Come on, guy. In the fire. You don't look so good. Dennis, can you help our new friend here over to Blackwell Memorial? Sure thing. Keep searching for sensors. Nice find. That'll help. Keep searching. That's the last one. Great work. That's one. Another sensor. Looking good. Last one. Great work. I'll start up the scanning process. Defend no sensors. Our test is going to attract husks. Don't worry. We're going to fix you up good as new. Dad. Very close, but it's actually pronounced Dennis. Dad. It's me. Dennis Jr. You actually got further away that time. It's just Dennis. No. Dad. It's me. Dennis Jr. The more you add, the less right it gets. Dennis! Just Dennis! Focus on the Dennis part! No! Dennis, I am your son. From the future. <gasps> Ray, it's happening! What's happening? My son is saving the future! Guys, it is such a simple rule. One crazy. You can even pick it. But there cannot be two or more. It's really very fair. Stand by to start the test. Defend the sensors. Sensors are taking damage. Two minutes left. We lost one. Stay in the fight. One minute left. Nice work. Samples are processing. Are we done here? For now. Ha! Ah, you hear that, Space Rock? You just missed your chance to get your revenge. Please don't taunt the comet. Now, my fault is too dumb to land. According to the sensors, it is the exact same comet as last year? All right, I am temporarily suspending the rule. Dennis's son, do you know what's going on here? All I know is that we lose in the end. What do you mean? Home base burns down. You die. Please stop telling everyone how they die. I was next. But the man brought me here. I think you'd better let him rest. Lars? You're thinking about Dennis Jr.'s dire predictions? What do we do? <laughs> What's funny? 
<laughs> if, if you're coming to me for help, <laughs> we are going to die. <laughs> because I got nothing. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty funny. <laughs> right? <laughs> I was really hoping this wasn't all for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Nothing means anything. <laughs> <laughs> Nihilism. <laughs> oh, but seriously, I'm so sad. Yeah, maybe he's wrong. Or maybe he's a fraud. Or maybe he's our chance to change the future. All right, so what's happening? We have a comet from the past that's apparently too cool for gravity. And we have an alleged time traveler claiming to be Dennis's son. He is way too hot to be Dennis's son. No offense, Dennis. Too freaked out to be offended, sir. So, what do we do? Let's flip a coin. Why? It's how I make decisions. You have to know what you're deciding between before you flip a coin. Common misconception. Heads. Tails? Heads again? Why is it still changing? What is happening? The coin is haunted. It's not haunted. I mean, I don't know, man. Commander, help. Everything is weird, but the question is, how weird? Everyone, flip some coins and report back. Smash anything coin-operated. Got one. Give it a flip. Heads. Nothing strange going on? Nope. Huh. Got one. Give it a flip. Oh, no. I do not see a thumb. I really needed a win today. Don't stress. I will get you that win. Heads. Tails? Heads again? What does it mean? We appear to be in a state of profound instability. Well, what does all that scientific equipment of yours say? It's a mixed bag, honestly. Sometimes the readings are fluctuating wildly. And other times, the equipment has vanished from the truck. Uh-oh. This is not the ideal condition set for scientific research. Seabot, stand by for a hardware upgrade. Test it out. Thumb drive. Awesome! Oh, no. What's wrong? I see a haunted coin. What is wrong with everyone? You see it differently? I don't know. It, haunted is just such a weird place to start from. And anyway, it's the wrong time of year. Let me give it a flip. So, what's the story? From a scientific perspective, I guess I'd call this an inconclusive result. And from a Lars perspective? Confusion and panic! Coin flip! Heads. Tails. Heads. It's gone. I guess they are haunted. <sighs> it's more fun if they're haunted. And not as frightening. I'll take ghosts over the world just breaking. Hey, Dennis Jr., can you flip another one? Heads. And the coin's not glitching back and forth between different results? No. Huh. Let me get this one. Give it a flip and... Yep, it's haunted. Dennis Jr., can you try again? Sure. Tails. And nothing strange is happening to the coin. Nope. Must be nice, Mr. I'm still living in a Newtonian universe. Sorry, that was over the line. I just really like cause and effect, you know? Why are life support systems in the red? Pop, activate the transduction bypass and prep for gamma protocol. The transduction bypass is gone? How can it be gone? Now there are two transduction bypasses? <laughs> Lars, the instability is killing home base. Tell me you have a solution. Well, there is always the possibility that Dennis is right. Dennis, do you believe this man is your son? I mean, yeah, it's hard to believe that my son from the future is here to save the world. But it's also kind of hard to believe that someone would pretend to be my future son. This is not a self-esteem thing, but I am not the obvious first choice. There are actual ninjas here. We really need to know if he's telling the truth. Will you go talk to him? See if he'll take a DNA test? 
Then we'll know for sure. Are you ready for that? I guess we'll find out. Hey! Champ, want to spend some time with your old man? Yeah. What do you want to do? Oh, you know, hang out, shoot the breeze, find DNA testing supplies, test our blood, just son and dad stuff. Good find, tiger. Maybe you just call me Dennis Jr. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. So, you don't believe my story? I want to. You may know me, but I don't know you yet. Yeah, I guess you're right. Are you allowed to tell me about the future? Who's gonna stop me? Oh, according to the movie Time Chimp, Time Chimps. I'll take my chances. The future's pretty great for like a while. But then one night, and the shields go down. We make it through the night, but we lose a lot of good people. After that, it's never the same. Then we start giving up. Not all at once, just a little bit every day. By the time we notice, it's too late. That doesn't sound like the home base I know. It isn't. So, how'd you get back here? Did a robot push you through a laser door? Was there a time machine? Some old dude grabbed me. No offense, but that is the least cool time travel method I have ever heard of. They did save my life, so time beggars can't be time choosers. Like, how did it go down? Home base was on fire, and I, I couldn't breathe. And this old man pulled me out of the fire. And I'm here. What happened to home base? It was on fire. And then what? It was more on fire. Okay, I see where this is going. Found some more. So, have you stopped by Summer's place yet? Who's Summer? That's right. You know her as Mom. I don't know who Summer is, but she's not my mom. What? Are you sure? Yes. Then who is? If I tell you, do you promise not to screw it up? Because if you do, I stop existing. I won't screw it up. You're not going to overthink it and ruin your chances with Mom? I am not an overthinker. You won't underthink it either? Maybe don't tell me. That's everything we need. It'll take some time before the results are ready. So should we, like, bond? You know, actually, yeah. I'd like that. Cool. Yeah. So, let's bond. My dad and me didn't really get along. So, I don't know what to do. You could make me one of your signature burgers. That counts? Counts for me. Scale of 1 to 10, how is that burger? 8. 8? That's the best burger I've ever made! Not even close! Don't get me wrong, it's amazing, but this is not a Dennis Burger. I think I know what is and isn't a Dennis Burger. Did you even use the poly beef blend? The poly beef blend is an unattainable fever dream. It's impossible! Sorry to interrupt your beef, but we have results! Dennis, you are the father! Sorry to have doubted you, Dennis Jr. Ah, uh, you're cool. Oh, and we have a hit for the mother, too. Sarah? What? You are the mother! Hi, Mom. No. There is no way I'm having a child, a human child, with Dennis. Dennis, no offense, but you are a loser. I may be a loser, but at least I didn't... Earmuffs, Dennis Jr. At least I didn't say my own son was hot. Oh, no. I'm a monster. You are not a monster. That's actually a very, very common time travel problem. In fact, everyone, listen up. We have a possible active time travel situation. So take a peek at those family photo albums before making out, okay? You will thank me. Guys, I don't feel so good. Reasonable, given the topic. However I can help you, we'd better do it now. Tell us everything, everything you can think of. I can't. It's all messed up and foggy. I have an idea. I don't know how much time we have, but we need everything Dennis Jr. can give us. Sounds like time for a crash course in hypnosis to me. Dennis Jr., we're going to hypnotize you. Already there. Really? We're a very suggestible family. Tell me what happened before you came here. We were under siege for what felt like weeks. 
They just kept coming, throwing themselves at the shield. It didn't matter if they lived, just so long as we died. Then what? And then, I stopped being hypnotized. Okay, let's see. Um, pick a focal object for your subject to imagine. Okay, Dennis Jr., think hamburgers. I'm there. What do you see? We all fall back to the bunker. But it's too late. There's fire in the walls. Ray tries to put out the fire. But she's too close, and, and it's too hot. She's my best friend. And she's gone. I am? I don't want to be here anymore. Come back out. We gotcha. I'm sorry. I didn't know we were friends. It's okay. We figure it out eventually. We can stop. No. If it helps, we keep going. Close your eyes. Breathe. And tell me what you see. Pizza. Presents. It's my 10th birthday. Who's there? My friend Ray. Who else? Mom can't come. She's needed in Twine Peaks. Is your dad there? Dad is gone. Gone where? Gone with the others. I don't want to be here. Come back to me. I'm here. We don't have to keep doing this. It's okay. There's somewhere you want to take us. Can you go there now? I'm there. I'm even younger this time. Dad wakes me up. People are yelling, saying the shield is down. Dad takes me to a hiding place. He locks me in. I see Dad outside. He's fighting the husks. Am I awesome in the future? There are too many husks. He's gone. Yeah, that makes more sense. You saved his life. Yeah. I'll be honest, though. I'm not looking forward to it. I can do one more. Are you sure you want to? Let's get started. Relax. Tell me what you see. A table. We're eating dinner. Who's there? Mom. Dad. What's happening? It's movie night. We're watching Time Chimp 4 again. Mom hates it. Yeah, she does. Why are we here? Because it's home. I want to stay. I know it's a lot to ask. Not now, Ned. Where'd he go? Do we believe him? I do. Me too. Since apparently I die on shield night, I guess I do too. I do too. Really? No snide joke about how I'm too much of a loser for you? I got a few on deck if you want them. He doesn't. We need to find out why the shields go down and when. So does anyone got more of those future people kicking around? Yeah, thought not. I know it's a lot to ask. One med kit coming right up. There is a disturbance among the rays. She has strayed from the path. Okay. Bring her home. Send yourself a meeting invitation. The park, five minutes from now. Make sure to check the all possible timelines box and mark it mandatory. Okay. Hey, now, no need to be handsy, Nettie boy. I appreciate the ride and all, but keep it business. Um, hi? Oh, no, 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 no. This was not the agreement. I'm not hanging out with this floating teal toaster. I know it's a lot to ask. For you, Ned, it is too much to ask. Take me back. You hear me? Take me back and I will shower you in Ned Kits. You'll think you died and went to Ned Kit heaven. I think he's gone. You think you're so much better than me, don't you? I didn't say anything. You good rays are all the same. Come on, let's find another member of my tribe. Search the park. Where are my bad rays at? Hello? What is happening? Ned got himself all stuck up in time and thinks that gives him carte blanche meddling privileges. Which it does not! How is he meddling? What, you didn't get the invite? Attention rays who survived the home base fire, mandatory meeting, etc. Park, blah, blah, blah. We're here. You don't need details. Rays? Yeah. There are other rays. You're not special. Keep searching the parks. There's no one? I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting many of your kind to be here. But I am disappointed in the bad race showings. I hope we didn't all go soft. Can we talk about how there are multiple rays? No. You'll get confused and you'll embarrass me in front of all the other rays. 
Who should be here by now? What gives? No one's here. Wow, you just say every thought you have, huh? You know what? I admire that. It's bold. I don't think anyone else is coming. All the other bad rays must have gone down with the ship, the losers. Does that make you the only true bad ray? I didn't think anything was going to cheer me up today. I really did not. But there's you with the photo finish. I'm the worst ray. I didn't say that. You should say it and get used to saying it because I want to hear it a lot. Really? It makes me the most me I can possibly be. Now, that's not lying in a heap of smoking, twisted metal like all the other rays, but I'll take comfort in this accomplishment. Why does Ned bring us here? Well, that's easy. He's out of his mind. The man's been living the same 15 minutes of his life over and over again for infinity. He seems to think that's made him wise or something. We should talk to him. You're not fun. We seriously have to go talk to this guy? He brought us together for a reason. You are really overestimating the abilities of a guy whose only achievement in life is falling into a time hole. For someone who claims to dislike him, you really know a lot about Ned. Not going down with your ship is a lonely business. You end up talking to your Ned a lot, okay? It's slightly better than nothing, I guess. All right, let's find those Ned kits. Smash any fire trucks, police cars, and ambulances you see, Commander. Yes, you speak in my language! It's for the medkits. You tell yourself that. Medkits here! Get your medkits! Thanks! You've been watching. What do you mean? The man fell in a time hole. I asked him. The poor guy can only say so much at a time. I still want to hear what he has to say. Your very boring funeral. I'm gonna go smash cars. Here you go, Ned. Thanks! Can you tell me what's going on? My friend needed medicine. When you help me, I bring it to him. Then what? It's only that. Why? Something broke in the universe. And I was there when it broke. Here you go. Thanks. You said something broke. When? For you? Weeks ago. But you've been stuck like this for years. I go all the way back and all the way forward. Try not to get stuck in time. There's so much of it. Here you go. Thanks. Why are you trying to help? Why now? Don't say now. He finds it very upsetting. Sorry. You want me to give her the spiel? I know it's a lot to ask. Yeah, it's not nothing. There you go, my time challenge friend. Jump in if I tell it wrong, all right, Ned? So, it's like this. Someone punches this hole in time. Ned's in the wrong place at the wrong time. Then suddenly he's in all places, all the time, all of the times. He's seen empires rise and fall. And you better bet he's seen you go down with the ship more times than he can count. And now he's trying to help, I assume, out of boredom. Or maybe he just wants to help. Because he's bored. That's what I said. Here's your Ned kit. Don't save all of your friend all at once. Thanks. Ned, why her? Why bring her here? Yeah, why me? This isn't fun for me either. She remembers. I know you're stuck in time, Ned, but don't be cryptic. Redemption. The new world has no place for her. This is her only chance. Thanks for the med kit, by the way. I really couldn't leave without it. Ned, baby, don't you dare say it's a lot to ask. It isn't. Not for you. Here you go. You said she remembers. What does she remember? Everything. Here you go. Are you saying I should ask her about the Knight of the Shield? She remembers. So, tell me what happened the night the shields went down. You're not going to be able to stop it. I tried. I want to try too. Ten years from today, a glitch in the home base OS brings down the storm shield. And it stays down for an hour. We need to send a warning. You don't need to send a warning. You need to fix that glitch. How? Now that's a question none of the rays can seem to solve.
The boy wants to come back. Dennis Jr. wants to come back? He has something you need. Can you bring him back? I would never do such a thing. It's too dangerous. You literally just brought him here. That was eons ago. I'm no longer the reckless man I once was. Could you maybe send a younger, more careless Ned my way? No. The forever Ned is not young and is not old. The forever Ned is the all when and endless is. If I give you a med kit, will you go away? I really can't leave without it. Go on, get! That should buy us some time. Head out to the field and get ready to fight. We need dense violentium. Keep at it, we'll need a lot of this stuff. What for? I've been watching Ned. He's surrounded by a strange power signature. With a few modifications, one of my suits might be able to enter his time stream. The only thing I need now is dense violentium. We're getting there. Thank you. I was getting worried. Worried about what? Worried you would never try to defeat me. <laughs> I hate when we get one of the billion-year-old time craze nets. What are you talking about? That's when he starts getting good. Keep that dense violentium coming. We are getting there. That's all we need. You are looking at a one-of-a-kind time containment suit. If we can send this to Dennis Jr., he should be able to slip through Ned's time stream. He'll be able to come back, give us all the intel we need, and head back to his own time. Which, if we play our cards right, will not be on fire. I don't know if we should be meddling with time. Time started this, so technically we're counter-meddling. That's not better. So, how do we send the suit to the future? Old school time travel. By which I mean, throw it on the ground and wait. It'll get there eventually. Oh, you're right. Let's find a good hiding spot. This looks like the spot. Dennis, this is where we're burying the suit. So show this place to your son. He's not born yet. After he's born, show him where to look. Okay. I don't see you marking anything on a map. Dennis, man, if you do not show this place to your son, you're going to die. Okay, so like, right after he's born, I'll bring him here. No, when he's old enough to understand language and has object permanence and stuff. You know what? I'll do it. It's fine. Give me your take on things. I can handle it. I think we're heading into a dangerous time. What are we going to do about it? Put one foot in front of the other and fight like we have a chance of winning. Do we? Yes. It's small, but it's ours. Do you really think this will fix everything? That comet's still up there, isn't it? Yeah. And we are still burning through our energy reserves. So, no. Not the answer I was hoping for. Well, Dennis Jr., it's up to you now. Hey, Dennis. How you holding up? How many years do I have with Dennis Jr.? We're gonna fix it. You'll have all of them. What if I don't? I have to make the time we have perfect. I can't just be a good dad. I have to be the best. He will be. You're right. I will be. Bring me books! Good plan. Let's find Dennis some books about fatherhood. Here's a book, Dennis. It's called Lift Up Your Son. You can learn to support Dennis Jr. emotionally and really connect with him on a deep level. Uh, it says make sure you bend with your knees and not your back. Oh. Don't limit yourself to lifting your son. A daughter or even a neighbor can also be hoisted above your head. Let's move on. Another book! Letters from Dad. Hey, you could write a bunch of letters to Dennis Jr. Tell him all about yourself and your story. Eh, uh, I don't really do the whole letter thing. I'm more of an emoji guy. Just try one. Dear Dennis Jr., Smiley face, lobster, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, cat face, dancing girl, camel. Straight from the heart. This looks like a good fatherhood book. Who's a good boy? I think that's a dog training manual. But it's all about 
Encouraging obedience and friendship through treats and belly rubs. Who doesn't like belly rubs? Here's a book, My Successful Son. That's part of the problem. I'm just a burger slinger. Meanwhile, Dennis Jr. is over here bending the space-time continuum. I can't compare to that. You're so much more than a burger slinger, Dennis. I mean, I really, really hope so. You're brave, right? You rescue people? You make the world a better place? That's gotta be something. All while getting our burgers done a perfect medium rare. See? Well done. No, never well done. Always medium rare. I'm just worried I won't be there for Dennis Jr. This book may be perfect then. Absent fathers, abandoned sons. What do you think, Dennis? Dennis? He left. Here's a book called Harness Your Dad Power. I tried to run, but then I knew I had to turn around, come back, and be an adult. I knew he was a flight risk, so I locked the outside door. The door was locked, so I had to turn around, come back, and be an adult. A book for Dennis. Ten things every boy needs from his dad. Is one of them money? I bet it's money. What's more like love, respect, space, and yeah, number one is money. Called it. Another book about fatherhood. Boy, it's kind of surprising any kids turn out okay if all the parents are clueless. It's one of the big secrets of adulthood, Ray. None of us have any idea what we're doing. Another dad book for Dennis. All these books are about how many ways dads screw up. Sarah, what are the mom books about? Second-guessing every decision you've ever made and feeling guilty about whatever you're feeding them. I was gonna ask for a trade, but never mind. Let's find one more. A book! Things Dads Teach. How to give looks full of silent, crushing disappointment. Or what to do when the check engine light comes on. I don't know any of that. All Dennis Jr. is getting from me is an encyclopedic knowledge of movie monsters. I think we're done here. This is a lot to get through. I'm supposed to be firm, but fair. But also his friend, and relatable. But also successful, and a role model? Honestly, I think you just need to be... There. Evil Ray, you have served your purpose. Well, looks like I'm no longer useful. So I guess I'm ready to stand trial for my crimes against humanity. There's no need for that. I've been awful. Put me in front of a judge. A judge? You're thinking one isn't enough. You're right. Pile on the judges. We're having a tribunal. Why? I assumed there wasn't a way through this. But I was wrong. So I'm guilty. In a couple of different ways. Maybe you're not such a bad Ray. Wrong. I'm the worst. Tell the judges. Oh, over there. It's a judge's wig. Let's find a few and we'll have a good old-fashioned tribunal. So, why are you so bad? I didn't go down with the ship. Did you walk away from anyone you could have saved? Who's to say? You. I saved everybody I possibly could, but I didn't die. So, that's that. So, your actions didn't harm anyone in home base? No, not that I know of. You call yourself a bad Ray. Can you elaborate? No. Why not? I'm a bad Ray. I enjoy non-cooperation. Another judge's wig. It reeks of respectability and... Onions? Gross. Thanks for sharing that with the class, Ray. If found guilty, what punishment would you propose we issue? Dangle me over a shark pit. We don't even have a shark pit. Least surprising fact. How would you respond to a not guilty verdict? Full body eye roll. Is there anything else we should consider before we retire to chambers? I uh, could have done better. But I didn't. And in my opinion, that's worse than just doing bad. You do bad, you know what you've done. You never try. What's lost, you know? All rise. We three judges find the defendant guilty as charged. And sentence her to time served. I've only been here for like 20 minutes. And welcome her to our home base with open arms. You guys are nerds. Nerds! Nerds! But, maybe. 
I'll think about it. Court is... We're done now. I'm back from the future. I guess that means he got the soup. Yeah, this is nice. Comfortable, good stretch. I think it's even moisture wicking. Plus, it stabilizes your molecules so you don't become a milkshake while traveling through space time. Ray, I brought you the home base error logs from the night the shields went down. Seriously? Yeah. If anyone could prevent those shields from going down, it's my friend Ray. And since we're meddling with time, why not go all in? Stand by for a series of dire warnings. Let me lay some info dumps on you. Turn on that boombox over there so we can reach the people. In the future, no one has food. How is that possible? We have canned food stocked stories high. Yeah, but in this timeline, we melted down all the can openers for resources, so... All those beans. Trapped. Easy fix. Bury a cache of can openers. Next! In the future, a scientist who could speak Husk was going to act as a negotiator. But what, he missed the bus? The Husk destroyed the bus, so... Give him a bicycle and tell him to pedal! Next! In the future, the leaders of the Defense Against the Storm lose their motivation. They start to think maybe they won't win. Maybe they can't win. And so... It's too bad they don't have our Ray in their ear telling them to believe in themselves and never lose hope. Oh! <gasps> Press record! <clears throat> believe in yourselves! Never lose hope! I love my buddy Ray! Your fort is taking on husks! Now tell them to listen to that on repeat and they can have the full original Ray experience. In the future, there was a big battle and we weren't ready. I guess we could bury a big ammo cache and put a sign on it that says, Hey, future, look here for ammo! And then whoever's around will just steal the ammo. Okay, then the sign also says, If you're not in the future, ignore this sign! Next! In the future, heroes are scattered across the world and never join forces. Nothing brings them together, and they can never combine their skills, so... Hey, Brother Ray? Sound familiar? Yeah, I think this one is my bad. Our bad. Great! I think we're on our way to fixing the future. Thank you. What you do here and now has an effect. Like ripples off a stone thrown into the river. That was surprisingly poetic. Or like the grill marks on a burger. Traces of juicy perfection. <laughs> That's my boy. I don't think altering all these timelines with information we shouldn't have is going to cause any problems. Ooh, hopefully that's a good ominous rumble. Yeah, it's not. But that's the universe's problem. Heads up, little robot. I think there's something funny going on. From up here, it looks like you're making timelines collapse into one another. A few more cracks in reality, and we're going to find ourselves in a big pile of time mush. Time mush sounds bad. Deploy some sensors, and I can get some thorough readings of just how much mush we're in. Float the sensor up with those balloons. One sensor coming your way, Lars. Time mush detection is a go. Another sensor up. How are the readings, Lars? I can see some of the holes in the timelines. On the scale of stable to time mush, we're looking... squishy. We need more sensors. Into the sky with you, sensor! I miss the days when we were only worried about monsters. Time mush and reality collapses are not my specialty. Oh, don't worry, Lars. The monsters aren't going anywhere. Well, that's good. I guess. Send that sensor into the sky! Thanks. If you can get me one more, I can get a full stability reading. Go on, sensor. Float skyward on wings of science. Perfect. The time array is now fully operational. Readings indicate time and stability. Mm, some soupiness. Yep. We got a thick gumbo of time trouble. Thankfully, no mush. Yet. But keep your hands out of the space-time ray. I cannot make that promise. 
You were lucky. All your interventions appear to have blurred the edges, but timelines remain stable for now. We've been trying really hard to fix it. We don't want to ruin the entire universe. Well, there are things we can control and things we can't. All we can do is make the best choices with what we have. You're pretty wise, Lars. You know, up here you get both a beautiful view and a little bit of perspective. Uh, Ray? Something's wrong with evil Ray. I'm not evil, you know. I just did the calculations. Going it alone seems smart. I know you're not. You just did nothing. And doing nothing isn't evil, but it sure can help evil along. Now's the perfect time to test that theory out. Mist monsters are going wild out there. Maybe it's time to do something. So, Eva, Other Ray, how are you holding up? I see. Seems to me every step we take toward our better future isn't good for Other Ray. So if we fix everything correctly, this other version of me will cease to exist? Yeah. This might be the end of Bad Ray. Calling her the bad me seems a little harsh. How about the not great me? I can own being not great. Okay, I uh, sat in the corner like a nerd and thought about what I did. Didn't do? Yeah, didn't do. And I'm sorry. You're not apologizing for not being evil enough, are you? No. I'm sorry I gave up and dragged everyone down with me. Hey, look on the bright side. If you hadn't abandoned everyone at home base, there'd be no one to tell us what happened. So, it's a wash. Not bad. Is evil the lack of good, or does evil actively fight against good? Can you be good and do evil things? I think even a good person can step into a puddle of evil, but you wipe off your boots and you keep moving. And try not to get any evil on the carpet. <laughs> so much more to talk about. We could have made a secret language and played tricks on people. Oh, now I'm starting to rethink this. I know it's a lot to ask. Say goodbye, Evil Ray. I'm not evil! I'm just not great! Maybe it's time to do something. I know it's a lot to ask. The boy must return. I'm sure his timeline is great now. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping. Humanity definitely is not locked in an epic struggle against a ceaseless wave of monsters. But let's put together some emergency cans of food, too. Just in case. Dennis Jr. is leaving already? No! I finally finished reading all the parenting books, and I'm ready for... Um... What was it? Emotional soul bonding as trusted caregiver and friend with belly rubs. I don't know when he's going, Dennis, but there's probably still time for awkward hugs. What if Dennis Jr.'s timeline is so good now that he doesn't need any of these cans? There's tons of good uses for cans. He could build them all into a tall tower and lord his collection of cherry pie filling over everyone else. No one messes with a guy who has all the cans. Uh, I have a question from a friend of mine. What if he's so afraid of his destiny that he runs away and causes a time-shame paradox? This friend of yours, what's his name? Sarah. Is that the only name you could come up with? Yeah. Tell your friend he'd better find a way to live up to his future. I don't know if I can. If future you has what it takes to impress me, Future you has what it takes to not win a husk fight. You're right. More supplies for Dennis Jr. Look for more. He will be the king of cans. Well, if Dennis Jr. can't eat this food, he could use them as weapons. Grown with enough force, I bet these peaches could take down a husk. Yeah. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! How'd you like them peaches, husk? I just realized I should ask you for advice, Ray. You're the only one that's been through this situation, since other you went back home and all. Yeah, but the totally not evil me was still me. Dennis Jr. isn't you. You... you know that, right? Yeah, 
Just checking. Another can of food for Dennis Jr.'s trip home. We have the cans of food, and I also put in there an ice scraper and some AA batteries. Better to have them and not need them than need them and not have them. You really are a dad, Dennis. I know we're getting cans, but I packed Dennis Jr. a lunchbox for the trip. There's a sandwich I made into the shape of a star, because in his time suit, he looks like an astronaut. Plus, a note that says, show that dystopian timeline who's boss. Aww. What can I do before Dennis Jr. leaves to make it up to him? Well, if we do things right, there will be nothing to make up for. Yeah. But still, maybe some ice cream? Our care package is complete! This is nice, Dad. Thank you. I hope when you get home, you have a good future waiting for you. And not like a dino dystopia. I'll be fine. Promise. You said that to me once before. This time, let's both make it true. I know it's a lot to ask. I'll wait. Well, let's tell Ned the bad news. I know it's a lot to ask. So, there's no time suit. Time corrected itself, so it's gone. But I really can't leave without it. I know. I'm looking for a solution. I know it's a lot to ask. I'm looking for the suit still, I promise. I really can't leave without it. I know. I'm trying to figure it out, but my memory is so fuzzy. Hey, Ned. I have a meeting reminder to come bring you a suit. I really can't leave without it. Well, you got a hot date or something? <laughs> well, here you go. One fancy suit. Hey, are you Ned? You don't remember. Sorry, you seem so familiar. I just can't place it. Well, here's the suit you ordered. Bring Ned his suit. Am I in the suit delivery game? Forget the suit. You did what needed to be done. I'll be seeing you. Bad news. I'm back. So it turns out we should not have done any of the things we did. We kind of broke time. Well, that's me. Good night, everybody.